Sayori picks up a manga that was resting on an adjacent desk. Oh, that? Um, that's if you probably just left it out by accident. But I thought she hasn't been coming to the club. Actually, actually, Monica's been- Okay, Yuri, I'm sure it was just someone else who was using this classroom then. Okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Mr. Red Play's Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Uh, we're going to do the side story today uh, for Respect, part two. The second one of those Respect stories for this game. Let's go. All right, let's just do uh, Respect 2 because the atmosphere is bad and we need to fix it. This sucks. Why is Monica such a jerk? She should be grateful that I even joined her stupid club. It's not like she can find any members. Monica's usually really nice. She cares so much about everyone in the club being happy. Yeah, right. Well, she usually does. Maybe when she's not busy being so judgmental. So what if I'm into manga? Why can't just one person accept that instead of being so condescending about it? I accept it. I think it's cute. Oh, come on. That's condescending too. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I just want to support you, Natsuki sighs. I know. Thanks. It just really sucks. Do you want me to talk to Monica? I don't know. It's not like it's going to change her opinion of me. Like, even if you were to convince her to back off, it wouldn't suddenly make me feel like I'm actually welcome in the club. I should just find another club. Wait, you don't have to do that. We can figure this out, please? I mean, I'm the vice president, or at least I think I am. And I don't want you to leave. Everyone deserves to feel welcome and to be happy. So I want to make that happen for you. Hmm. Um, I was wondering, what was the reason you decided to join the literature club? Well, Natsuki hesitates. It's kind of dumb. No, I don't say that. There's no such thing as a dumb reason when everyone is welcome. I wasn't welcome. You were to me, so... Just don't tell anyone, okay? Especially Monica. I promise, Natsuki sighs. I'm just tired of everyone judging me all the time. I can't enjoy any of the stuff I'm into without people making snotty comments about it. Not that I care about what anyone else thinks. But you know, the signs for the literature club so that you can be yourself or whatever. So I decided it was at least worth a shot. But there was a lie, apparently. Natsuki dejectedly gives the toe of her shoe against the wall. Oh, and I like writing too. Really? How come you didn't say that to Monica? Because she was being so judgmental that I didn't just want to tell her something she wanted to hear. She didn't deserve that kind of satisfaction. And if she knew I was into writing, then she would just be like everyone else and try to push me away from the manga in favor of the more mature thing. Mmm. The two of them remained silent for a while. Good. Ugh. Sayori understands that it's out of the question for Natsuki to return the, to the club room for today at least. But Natsuki has a reason for wanting to join the club, just like everyone else. It's part of the club vision for her to be welcome. You deserve to express yourself as much as everyone else does. That's supposed to be what the club is for. So, I'm gonna do everything I can to fix this. I promise. Alright. Cool. What if that was just the end? These just get shorter and shorter. It's lunchtime the next day. <laughs> the next day is lunchtime? Weird. The cafeteria and hallways are bustling with students rushing to meet with their friends and make the most out of their limited break time. Where could she be? Among them is Monica, who always eats lunch in her classroom. But she has some additional business today. Fearing Natsuki would avoid coming to the club, Monica decided to try to find her during lunch so that she could make amends. That, by the way, might be the only uh, time that other people in this school were even mentioned. Uh, like, everyone's, you know, hustling and bustling to get through the classrooms and whatnot. Usually it's just these four people and maybe, like, the main character from... Or the, the player character, anyway, from the original game, VM1, if you will. Anyway, fearing Natsuki would avoid coming to the club, Monica decided to try to find her during lunch so that she could make amends. Amends are my favorite thing to make, by the way. After searching for an extensive time, Monica finally spots her. During her short stature, despite her despite her short stature, Natsuki's bright hair helps her stand out from the crowd. Oh gosh. Suddenly feeling awkward, Monica is afraid to get closer. Natsuki is with some friends whom Monica doesn't recognize, and they're all energetically tat chatting with each other. It would be really tactless to just interrupt them. Whoa! Friend one! 
Oh yeah, did you end up joining that literature club or what? Huh? Of course I joined, why wouldn't I? Ha! I told you she would join. Ah ha ha, come on. You know she only joined because you wouldn't stop giving her crap about the anime club. Whoa, who are these people now? I told you I never wanted to join that stupid club. Oh, sure. Well, you have to give her some credit for at least making an effort to finally grow past that trash. That's rude. Haha, <laughs> well, true. Well, congrats on finally graduating middle school, Natsuki. We're proud of you. Shut up. Just let me do my thing. I'm just joking. You know we love you. This is so weird. I was just saying how this was like the first mention of any other character, and now we're like... Seeing? Two other characters, Natsuki's friends. Yeah, once the literature club makes you fa a famous writer, we'll be the first ones to buy your book. What, you're gonna buy your smutty fan fiction? Ah, well obviously, I want a signed copy. That was like years ago. You don't think I've grown out of it by now? I told you I was joking. Besides, it's a good reminder of how far you've come since then. Not to mention, you couldn't have done it without us. That gives us a pass to joke about it. Yeah, sure. They grow up so fast, it brings a tear to my eye. Natsuki suddenly glances in Monica's direction, prompting Monica to quickly turn away and distance herself. Oh no! What the heck? That was horrible. I should have said something to defend her. Why do I have to be so conflict avoidant? Not that I deserve to say anything. I'm hardly better than them after the way I treated her. Ugh, I'm so awful. I'm not doing anything right. Oh no, Monica. Don't be sad. It's okay. After school ends, Monica distractedly makes her way into the club room. She finds Yuri already inside, eyes on a book, as usual. Monica picks a desk and slumps into it, something she seems to be doing rather often lately. Yuri, I don't think I can be club president. I suck at handling anything that doesn't like that doesn't go like exactly my way. Yuri looks up from her book. It's like the literature club is a place where you go to express yourself, unless it's in a way I don't like. I'm so mad at myself, and I'm especially mad that I didn't have the self-reflection skills to realize what I was doing. So much for maturity. Sorry, I really shouldn't be complaining out loud like this. There's just like a ton on my mind. Now, mm, I enjoy listening. Really? <laughs> yeah, mm, I'm becoming more of a gremlin <laughs> each day. Why? Yuri shrugs. It just makes me feel nice. Oh, well, okay. I guess I'll just continue then. Yuri nods. Yeah, it's just, I, well, bitter is kind of a blunt attitude, you know. It makes me feel like, it made me feel like she wasn't taking the club seriously. I couldn't even figure out why she wanted to join. I saw her friends talking to her in the hallway during lunch. They were just so mean to her. It always weirds me out when a story describes something that just happened because we're just like, we know, we were there. Uh, telling her to grow up and stuff like that, that the literature club would help her grow out of their manga. It just made me so mad. Like, just let her enjoy it. It makes her happy. Why are you trying to take that away from her? And when I had that thought, it was like when I came to the realization I was just kind of doing the same thing, just in a roundabout way. I should have made her feel good about being passionate about something, but I just dismissed it. No, I was actually trying to avoid acknowledging it at all. I even did that with you, Yuri, when you first joined the club. You, you did? Yeah, I remember. Say, so fantasy isn't really my thing, so it's kind of dismiss it. But then Sayori jumped in and took over the conversation. Yuri's going to be like, oh, I didn't realize that you were doing that, and now I'm mad at you. I should have reflected on that, but I didn't, because I just let Sayori handle it instead. And now, I'm repeating the same mistake. I'm repeating the same mistake. <laughs> Except I really hurt someone this time. Monica shakes her head. I'm just so tired of being afraid of things I'm not comfortable with. It's so stupid. Like, I can just picture how much joy it would bring Natsuki if I let her share her passion a little. I'm so angry that her friends were treating her like that. I'm gonna get them back for it. <laughs> Get them back? Yeah, I'll get them back by making sure that this is the literature club that Natsuki wants. Woo, okay. Not the one that they want. I was a little nervous about what she was gonna mean by that. Suddenly, Sayori bursts through the door, making Monica and Yuri jump. With a rare stern face, she marches over to Monica's desk and sits down next to her. 
I'm having an intervention. I can do that because I'm the vice president. Is this about Natsuki? Yes. Yeah, I know. I messed up. I'm super sorry. I was just talking to Yuri about it. Really? I was so dismissive of her passion that she felt threatened and probably just unwelcome. Literally the opposite of what a literature club is supposed to be. I really need to make it up to her. Oh, yay, I did it. Uh, thanks for the intervention, Sayori. I'm glad we're on the same page. Friendship wins again. So how do you, how do you want to make up make it up to her? I have a plan. Sayori, do you know if Natsuki is coming to the club meeting today? She's, I don't think she is. I see. Monica was afraid of that, so not because of her plan, but because she's facing the consequences of the damage she's inadvertently caused. But the only way to do the right thing is to face it head on. It's so easy to just duck away from conflict and wait for it to blow over, but that's not enough. To truly respect someone's feelings after you've hurt them is to face them and admit your wrongdoing. Not the wrongdoing of mismanaging the club, but the wrongdoing of disrupting the feelings. Okay. Do you think you can get her to come to the meeting tomorrow? I can do that. Okay, awesome. Yuri, you don't have to worry, Peter. You don't have to worry about anything, but thank you for being my friend. Travel down the road and back again. You're a good listener. Mmm. Fidgeting with her hair, Yuri turns away to hide a smile. Is it hidden? <laughs> well, I guess that's for today. It's gonna be pretty quiet club meeting. I'm gonna step out for a bit, is that okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna read with Yuri. Yeah, I'm just gonna read with Yuri. Hey, is this one of Natsuki's books? How come it's out here? So Yuri picks up a manga that was resting on an adjacent desk. Oh, that? Um, Natsuki probably just left it out by accident. But I thought she hasn't been coming to the club. Actually, actually, Monica's been- Okay, Yuri, I'm sure it was just someone else who was using this classroom then. Okay. Monica smiles at them both. Then, with a the wave, she exits the club room. Okay, whoops. Uh, I really should have left that out. If Sayori catches on, she'll definitely tell Natsuki, and that would get really awkward. Wait, that she was reading it? No. I wonder if there's a keyboard I could borrow from the music room. She plays the music. She loves it. It's a favorite thing to do is play the music. I don't know why that happened there. The time for the next club meeting has finally arrived. Monica and Yuri are the first to arrive. I'm so worried. Do you think Sayori is gonna be able to bring Natsuki? Yes. How do you know? Well, she's Sayori. Hmm, you know, you're right. Time slowly passes. Monica sits, then stands up to pace around, then sits again. Yuri's eyes don't move from her book. Then, the door finally opens. Sayori marches inside. Behind her, Natsuki shuffles inside, nervously looking around the room. We're here! Welcome back. Monica, the club president, stands up and greets them with a smile. Sayori picks a desk, desk and takes a seat. Natsuki sits closely next to her. All right. Looking back and forth between the club members, Monica is struck with a nostalgic feeling. What? She would stand at the front of the club room just like this, struggling to picture just who may eventually be sitting before her. Okay. I'm getting so nervous that any second something's gonna happen, and I thought it was gonna be nostalgic for the game that you played, and it was gonna be like, there's the game, remember it? Uh, struggling to picture just who may eventually be sitting before her. But imagination was never enough to predict just how unique and diverse each member would be. Each with their own struggles, her own reasons for seeking the vision, Wanda vision that Monica had, admittedly, so vaguely advertised. I don't know why that happened either. Seeking trust, understanding, respect. What new lesson will the future hold for the literature club? Those are the names of the games. Realizing she's getting ahead of herself, Monica takes a deep breath and returns to the present. Uh, it's getting weird, I think. Okay, everyone. The literature club is starting. We have an activity planned for today. Monica turns around to face the chalkboard. On it, she writes MANGA in big letters. Today, we're going to learn from an expert about a unique form of literature. MANGA. Oh, come on. Isn't this kind of forced? You know, you don't actually want to do this, so just... Monica shakes her head. Now, it's okay. This is the hardest part. After making it this far, it would be so easy to just smile and move on. Do it, Monica. Do it. But that's not enough. Not this time. I'm. S S S S S S S S 
sorry. It was wrong of me not to take you seriously when you were just kind enough to show interest in my club. I thought about it and realized how biased I was against manga. It caused me to disrespect you and I'm s- <laughs> Sorry, but I think you deserve to be able to share your passion with us. So, can I make it up to you? Well, thanks, but I know you're only doing this because Sayori told you to. Wait, that's not true. Monica planned all this by herself. I didn't even get a chance to talk to her. I, I was witness to that as well. This is the literature club. <laughs> I kind of just had this weird feeling it was going to end right there. <laughs> this is the literature club. <laughs> it was going to be so weird. I don't know why my mind was just like, that's the end. The literature club is a place where everyone gets to be themselves. We all have our own interests and our differences. It's my wand division to let us freely express that and... It's my goal to respect everyone for them. So I just want to learn about the things that make you happy. I think that you deserve to share that joy as much as everyone else does. Is that okay? Natsuki looks away and hesitates. That... it's really dumb, the stuff I'm into. Monica smiles. She kneels in front of Natsuki's desk, looking her straight in the eye. If you like it... If you like it, then it's not dumb. Oh, except for me! Wait, why didn't Sayori Sorry show up? Sayori, you're not dumb either. Ahaha, <laughs> what the heck? You guys are so weird. Fine, I'll show you some of my manga. Only because you admitted that it's literature after all. Natsuki stands up. Oh yeah, I didn't say this before, but I'm actually into writing too. I'm kind of a pro. But I didn't want you to like me just for that. Wow, really? I really did have you all wrong, Natsuki. Yeah, whatever. Today's not about that anyway, right? It's about manga, so I hope you're ready. You have to get a notebook out, and some notes, and then you read it all. A week has passed since Natsuki returned to the literature club. Since then, the club activities have been in full swing. Each club member had received a day in the spotlight to share all of their favorite kinds of literature with each other. As another meeting draws to a close, Monica approaches Natsuki on the way out. Natsuki, are you in a hurry home or anything? Me? Not particularly. Why? Oh, there was just something I wanted to show you, if you had a few minutes. This is kind of... this is weird. Like, I don't know what's going to happen next. Like in this uh, episode. Sure. 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 What is it? It's not in here. Can you follow me to the music room? Oh, she wrote her a song. The music room. Why? Well... Well, you'll see. She wrote her a song, and it's going to be beautiful. Oh, look! A new background! Cool. All right, I want to play that. I want to play what that is. Hold on, we're going to deal with that later. You know, I was thinking back. When the club was just me and Sayori, we would talk about how we envisioned the club to turn out. We cared a lot about it being a place where people could express themselves. And she said something strange to me. She said that I was trying to make the club that I needed for myself more than anyone. But I think it wasn't until you joined that I fully understood that. Because you really taught me a lot about myself. Like things I was probably always too... P Peter, wait. When the club was just me and Peter, we would talk... Okay, we, we got there. Oh, come on. You can't mean that. I didn't even do anything. I just, like, brought a bunch of manga, and then I got fussy when I didn't have my way. It was really stupid of me to make such a big deal out of it. No, I honestly needed it. If you didn't express that you were <laughs> hurt, <laughs> I never would have realized I did something wrong. Besides, your feelings are valid. They deserve to be heard and respected. That's the name of this episode. It just... It's just really hard for me to feel that way sometimes. You know, like, I really shouldn't care about what other people think in the first place, but when you're just criticized by everyone around you for being a certain way, it can get really hard to just brush it off. And it makes me start to feel like I'm the problem. Like I'm not doing enough to please everyone else. And I'm just... Too entitled. If I just want people to like me without have, am I just being too entitled? If I just want people to like me without me having to hide a bunch of stuff about myself, I don't think I am. I just wish that sometimes people would try to appreciate me for who I actually am. As Monica listens, she recalls vividly how Natsuki's friends were treating her and how naturally they did so. How long has she been fighting against that, refusing to change for others? I only wish I was as strong as you are, Natsuki. You're so honest with yourself. I'm like, always trying to come off as perfect for other people. 
and he better. Anytime there's like a hint of contention, I just crumble. But it's thanks to you that I really just started thinking about this stuff. You really inspired me to start working on it. But I, well, like I said, I didn't even do anything. You were just being yourself. That's all you needed to do. Also, there's something else. Hmm. <laughs> Monica takes a breath. Uh, the thing is, I might have read a little bit of your manga. What? You, what the heck? You didn't tell, why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, I think I just felt like kind of embarrassed to admit it after I gave you such a hard time about it. <laughs> I can't believe you, of all people, were reading manga behind my back. That's so funny. Yeah, well, I just flipped through one of them out of curiosity, but I ended up reading a whole bunch of it. I mean, one of the characters went in a literature club. What are the chances, right? You were reading Parfait Girls? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. She, uh, this was in the main game. I remember this. Wow, you have good taste. Just, 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 just one volume. And I kind of picked it out randomly. Well, you have good intuition then. You have to tell me all your favorite parts. Ah, ha, ha. Well, I think it was some kind of weird fate because the character isn't just in a literature club. She also plays piano. It's just weird because I've always wanted to learn piano. She was like the perfect person that I always wish I was. If I just did what I wanted, instead of always second-guessing myself. Oh, okay. Monica walks over to a piano and sits down. Oh, cool. I love I love these. These are so good. They're so, like, well-drawn. I love these. I always felt like I should only share with the absolute best parts of myself. The parts that will only imp that will impress people or make them like me more. But after you join the club, <laughs> I realize how self-destructive that mentality is. Because you just show up and you're just a piece of trash. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We share things because we want to express ourselves. Sharing experiences allows us to share emotions. And I just always felt, I just felt like, like I wanted to show you this. Because if it wasn't for you, I never would have started playing. Pling. Pling. Yeah, it's uh, really good, Monica. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, I think the credit for that one goes to Thought Parfait Girls, not me. No. Well, maybe it's true that Peter Girls put the thought in my head, but it was still... Ha! <laughs> That's stupid. <sighs> Peter Girls. But it was you who inspired me to keep practicing every day. Every day? Because, you know, you just make me feel like if I want to do something, I should just do it. I mean, I still haven't been practicing for very long, and I'm really not good at it yet, like, at all. But I wrote a song for the club, and I worked really hard on it. It doesn't have any words or anything, but, well, yeah. Is she gonna play? No. It's not what I thought she was gonna play. Oh, this is neat, though. Okay. This is really neat. I, I, I thought it would be uh, your reality. I thought that's what would be the song, but it's not. It's this. Oh, it's so beautiful and nice, and I love it. Oh, it's good. It's real good. I'm trying to talk so it's not just me sitting here while this plays, but I also don't want to cut. So I don't know. Why don't we just... We'll sit here while this plays. That wasn't bad. Oh, it's not done. Oh, oh, look at this. The literature club has finally come together. They're all one big happy family now. Oh, it's so good and beautiful. That's all. That was so good. It was. Yeah. Are you kidding? You're already like a pro. Ah, ha, ha. Not even close. Does the song have a name? You said it was about the club, so... Yeah. It's called My Song, Your Note. Because 
Everyone brings something so unique to the club. It's so completely different than how I first imagined it, I think. But it was like a piece of selfish perfectionist. It shouldn't be about me, it should be about everyone. And it's all of you who help shape the club into what it is. I never would change that. Well, I think that's really thoughtful and kind of flattering. I kind of feel like I don't deserve this much validation. I wasn't exactly very patient either when I first joined the club. It makes me feel like I should probably apologize too. It was, I think I was just really fed up with a lot of things and I got frustrated after not getting my way in the club. So, yeah, I really didn't mean to take it out on you. I was being really immature. <laughs> if you get my stubborn butt to apologize, I guess you're not doing something right. Then I get, you are doing something right. Hmm. It's fine, I'm past it too. I think we're already even. Even Stevens. Even better. But it's really sweet that you were thinking about it. It takes a lot of maturity to reflect on that kind of thing. Well. Well, I wonder who I got it from. Hmm. Oh, never mind. Aw, oh, well anyway, it were- Oh, that was a burp. I'm sorry. Well anyway, we're even as long as you let me keep my manga in the club room. You did admit that it's a form of literature. You totally can't take that back now. You got me. The closet's all yours. But you gotta stay in there. <laughs> none of you. None of the rest of the club. You can't. No. Stay out. Eh. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll bring in a little something for the club tomorrow. I want to do something nice in return. What kind of little something? Oh, you'll see. But I don't think you'll be disappointed. <laughs> the next club meeting ends in a particularly tasty one. <gasps> oh, did she make? Oh, wait. Wait a second. Wait, well, come back. Tasty one. So she made what, what? What did she make? Cupcakes? Was it cupcakes she makes? Whoops. All right, let's let's check out mail. I've last. Oh, OMG. Okay, who's responsible for creating a Twitter account for Monica? I think it's hilarious, but for God's sakes, don't tell Paula. Ha <laughs> ha. It would get 404'd in a microsecond. Are you just relaying her tweets manually, or did you code some kind of pass-through layer to automate it? Based on the contents of the tweets, e.g. not screaming for help, I assume they're coming from the control simulation. What? So Monica does have a Twitter account, but it's not the one she talks about because I looked that up and like there hasn't been anything tweeted recently. Although I guess 20, 2019, December 6, 2019. Huh. Weird. Well, I got a new picture. Oh, it's all of them. Oh, it's beautiful. And I got this one. That's cool. I wonder what she's, I wonder what she's writing there. Notes. Notes about something. And this is the song she wrote, but I'm pretty sure I already saw that in here. So we'll listen to it. All right, so, huh. All right, hold on. Okay, so here is the uh, song, by the way, that's on the, um, Music room thing. I want to listen to that. Let's listen. I, th I think I got it written out exactly the way it's written here. There might be like one note that might be wrong, but we'll, we'll, we'll try it. Let's listen. All right. That doesn't really. That doesn't really sound like anything. Oh. Okay. So this is Monica's Twitter, by the way. It's Lil Monix Three. She mentions this in the game, uh, and it looks like she. The, this was uh, posted when the game was released, or, or like the day after, which I didn't. Uh, I I had checked at that time, but they weren't. Uh, it wasn't real. Also, Dan Salvato is following her because it's <laughs> it's official. Who's she following? Let's see. Who 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 does she follow? Dan Savato, Veliquint, background artist, and Satchel, illustrator. All right, so people associated with the game. That's outside of things. We'll, we'll ignore that. Uh, but these things were posted, it looks like, after... Hmm. Uh, but these were posted uh, during that time in... We'll switch back to this. Uh, the, the thing, right? So December 2019, and this was uh, after that. So that makes sense. But that could be what they're talking about. It's just so weird to bring that up, because, like, I don't know if that <laughs> is actually important to anything. I'll look through that later. In the meantime, I, think, I, I guess we're done. <laughs> I guess we did it. Uh, so that's it. That's um, 
respect. We still have one, two, three more. And now I'll be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting, because now these were all introducing the characters to each other and to the club and everything. And now I got to imagine that, like, what could the rest of these be other than stories within them? They're no longer introductions. But since we've done those, what I'm thinking is something horrible is going to happen now <laughs> in them. Or it's going to be something weird because I, psh, it's Doki Doki Literature Club. It's got to be weird. So look forward to that. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in in two days for more of this. I can't wait for it. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So there you go. Until then, I've been Mr. Red. Stay spooky out there, everybody. And remember, keep watching.